I had so much confidence in my sort of closet being clean that I wrote completely with no self-censor. And what happened? Initially, there were people in these private Facebook groups who started talking about it in the first few hours. Um, it was publicists and people in the LA music scene who kind of created this sort of hornet's nest. And then it was picked up by mainstream media outlets. I think the, the, the rejection or the frustration was, how dare a straight male talk about the, the sexuality of a woman without <laughs> immediately addressing her artistic or musical talents. Now, oh my. we can debate whether Sky Frere is musically talented or not. I mean, I've talked to people that say she's not. I've talked to people that say she sort of has some musical sort of talent. She had some good songwriters in that record, uh, My Time, Nighttime, whatever. Yeah, My really, Time, Nighttime. Really good, really the, good. Some good great singing. But the videos really terrible. were... But the videos were stunning to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Her live is terrible. The, the videos were... Yeah, the videos are good. Yeah, I don't like her live. I don't think she's, yeah, yeah. Think she's, she's a great done, singer. Yeah. But she's, you know, that's why people want to photograph. That's what Tara Richardson was so of fascinating. Course. She's stunning as, as, a, as a work of art. And I saw her videos, the way she would fling her hair the way she would look into the camera, she had this kind of confidence and charisma that was lacking in pop music. You watch it, Charlie XCX, you watch no. even Beyonce, you know, no. they don't no. have that they allure. Have that, yeah. They don't look into the camera and say, I'm going to fuck you if I want to, and if I don't want to, I'm not going to. It's like this very Madonna thing that was yeah. happening. She rejected that. She came out and she rejected that publicly. She didn't want to be viewed that way. Now, the question remains a mystery that's unsolved, and I challenge Sky. I would love to talk to her. I would love more than anything to interview her. Was that her genuine feeling about that in hindsight, the way she felt about it, that she felt objectified and she felt that it was sexist? Or was at the moment this sort of avalanche of pressure and nastiness in the country at that point with Grab the Pussy and Donald Trump and the misogyny? Or was she just reacting instinctually and maybe she regrets the way she reacted? I don't know the answer to that. But I think ultimately it was a combination of vindictive people in the music scene who did not like my previous work, who wanted to see me sort of hurt. And it was a combination of misrepresentation. And, this, and like you say in your tweets, it's like you do a tweet and immediately everyone thinks that's all, who you, that's all, who, that's all right, you are, right? right, right. Brady Snell has talked about how he thinks Moonlight sucks, so he's a white supremacist, yeah, right? Exactly. Um, Art Tavana talked about how he thinks Sky Ferreira is sort of a visual spectacle, charismatic or sexy. He's a misogynist and wants to fuck Sky Ferreira. Right. I had no interest in fucking Sky Ferreira. I don't even, you know, I had what a girl. What if you did? I had a girlfriend at the time that I argued, I could show you photos of her that is extremely attractive. But what Probably. if you even, wa what if you had a girlfriend and wanted to fuck I Sky Ferreira? <laughs> yeah, but see, look, she's hot, but she's not, no, but here's the thing. I know a lot about her behind the scenes, and so she wasn't hot to me, because I know, like, so, okay, uh, I don't want to get into her sort of her biography, but let's put it this way. I'm not into women who conduct themselves in the way she does. But, but I mean, she's sort of the kind of girl that doesn't turn me on. But, just, that, you but know. ultimately, this isn't about Sky. This is about you right. and what happened to you. So my, my column was canceled immediately um, within 24 hours. The LA Weekly called me and said, sorry, my, my editor called me and said, sorry, man. Um, this is the exact words I remember. He goes, sorry, man. It's not up to me. But, you know, like people from the top are complaining about this and... I'm going to lose my job if I don't cancel your column. I'm going to lose my job if I don't issue an apology. I want to include a quote from you in the apology. Do you want me to give, do you want to give me a quote? I'm like, fuck no, I'm not giving you a quote. I'm not, I'm not apologizing for what I wrote. I stand by 100%.